Hello, I'm Todd Tracy with today's Todd Talks. A lot of times I have lawyers ask me, what, what are the tips that I need to do if I want to evaluate a potential vehicle crashworthiness or vehicle defect case? Well, I think there's really four that need to start the evaluation. Number one, you need to secure the vehicle. You need to make certain that the vehicle is safe, is secure, and is preserved. Without the vehicle, there is no case. You want to make certain that you do not settle the property damage case because once the insurance company or whoever has paid for that vehicle, once you've lost the vehicle, then we have to go try to track it down at an auction facility. And a lot of times, if we lose the vehicle and it goes to a salvage yard, we will never be able to get the vehicle the way we need it to pursue a case against a vehicle manufacturer. Number three, do not remove anything from the vehicle because everything in that vehicle is potentially a target for us to evaluate what caused the injury, when did the injury occur, and we need to see every aspect of every component in the vehicle. I don't care if it's a jacket, I don't care if it's groceries, I don't care if it's luggage, I don't care if it's a radio. We need everything in the vehicle. And lastly, you do not need to settle the underlying case just yet. We need to evaluate all aspects of the case before determination is made about settling the underlying case. This is Todd Tracy with today's Todd Talks.